So this unit, we were working on the stock market game, and we invested, bought, and sold stocks. We bought Costco because it's a grocery store, and who doesn't go to a grocery store? Especially on the holidays when people are going for the hams and the good stuff. We bought Disney because it's good for kids, and they always make a new movie. Fred's, this is because it was cheap, and at the time, it was good for to invest in for our team. Macy's because they have so many good clothes for women. AT&T because they always have good deals and they're always like with the cell phone and stuff, which many people want. We sold these because they weren't really working, so the following is what we sold. Starbucks, AT&T, and Fred's. We placed our ranking in the Region was 37th, and out of the state was 588th. Um, I personally would not sell things next time. I would have rather bought Samsung, possibly, because they always have something good. But we ran out of time, I guess, and I just think we did very well, but we needed a little bit more time. That's what I believe we should do in the future just because it will help and it will make it better because I don't know if it's great if we would have to sell because that also is a fee but if you buy the right companies at the right time you will also get like an advantage kind of because you won't need to sell them unless it goes really far down that it you lose more money than keeping what you could have and so that is what i think about the stock market game that is what we bought and sold and what we placed signing off this is victoria gerdes my stock market group bought the stocks Costco because it was really low and we figured that it would, because it was low, it would go higher. Then we also bought the stock Fred's because on a list of like top 10 stocks you should buy that are low right now, it said Fred's because it would, it is at a very shocking low and it would grow. <laughs> Macy's because we figured with all like the Christmas and um, Black Friday deals that it would um, get really high and then we make some money on that and then we bought Starbucks because it was extremely low and we just needed to keep on buying stuff because we still had like a million bajillion dollars we bought Disney because they were coming out with a lot of movies and we thought that with the movies and the um, all the merchandise for it that they would make a lot of money off of that and then yeah and then we bought the S&P 500 and the SWPPX because Mr. Mark who came in and told us about mutual mutual funds but we sold and we sold um, Costco sold Costco breads and Starbucks because they just kept on going down and they weren't making us any money. But the rest we kept. And I think what I would do differently this time is I would not just buy stocks if they're low. I would do more research on it if I was doing this game again. And our final total, we went over what we had. So we ended up making money. And I think that was because of the S&P 500 and the SWPPX. Thank you. Bye-bye, peoples. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Bice. I'm a stock market expert. I am also Batman, Superman, and The Flash all combined. And I got 6 out of 86 in the region. And 150 out of 2,582. And teams. I will be answering some of your raging questions. So the first thing I bought 
was Coke Bottling Co. and Fred and Jen SS and T and UA. Next, we sold Fred and we also sold Wells Fargo, T and UA. Then we bought SWSSX. We ended up in sixth place, and I'm proud of that. I mean, I'm kind of proud. Like, being Batman and Superman and the Flash all combined. I, I'm a good man because I because I fight crime. See, look. Why? Yeah. See, see, I fight crime. In the future, I would buy things that are less expensive that I know will come up because we bought mostly bullish um things. So bullish means it's like you better charge it and buy it. Like like I'm Batman, so I would know you better charge in and hurt injure that criminal so thanks for listening in batman and signing off this is batman so we in the tag fifth grade class we were playing the stock market game we had to buy and sell stocks and mutual funds my team bought stocks and mutual funds the stocks we bought include disney grace and co carmax and nike the mutual funds we bought included SWPPX and SWSSX. The stocks we sold include Petco, Sony, AT&T, and Winnebago. The reason we sold those is because they weren't make, giving us a lot of money, so we had no reason to use them. The final results we got in the stock market game is our team came in fourth place out of 86. We also got $3,293.15 in cash balance. I think that's a pretty good achievement. Something that I would do differently is I would buy bigger stocks, stocks from companies that are bigger and cost more money. That way I get more money back, and even when it's low, it still costs a lot of money. For example, in Disney, it's about $103, even when it's low. So imagine when it's high. It'd probably be about $120. I really like doing the stock market game, and I think you would too. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Grace Chaplin, signing out. My team, number 70, bought Coke Bottling Company, Fred's, AT&T, Under Armour, Janice Cap Incorporated, SWSSX, SWPPX, and Wells Fargo. We bought these companies because they were bullish and they were low. Later, we sold Janice Cap Group Incorporated, FWSSX, AT&T, and Under Armour. We sold these companies because they were high and we needed money. The final results are 6 out of 86 in the region, 150 out of 2,580. Second in the state, our total equity is one hundred nine thousand four hundred and seventy six and forty four cents. In the future, I would have bought Google and Apple. I would have sold Coast because it Coke because it went high and its shares were worth one hundred and forty three dollars and ninety nine cents. Hi, my name is Brandon Kozad, and today I will be telling you some things about what I did in the stock market. Our groups, we Hello, bought some of the companies that we bought were Grace & Co. We also bought Disney. We bought CarMax. We bought Nike. Um, one of our one of Miss Cersei's friends, Mr. Mark, who also came in, and he convinced us to buy Schwab two Schwab index funds. We also bought AT and T, Petco, Winnebago, and Sony. Unfortunately, there's like there's only a certain number of things that you can have, so our team ended up selling some of them. We ended up selling AT&T, Petco, Winnebago, and Sony. Our team ended up in fourth place in the region and won a million dollar chocolate bar, so that was pretty cool. If I play this game again, I will have to learn to be patient and not risk at all. I tried a couple times to convince my group to do that, but they were smart. Like, for example, last week, the last week of the stock market game, I wanted to buy Apple and risk it all. 
but my group convinced me otherwise. I had a great experience with the stock market game and hope to do it again. Hello, I am Liam. I was playing the stock market game. I had been playing for 10 weeks with my team. We didn't know what to do at first until Mr. Marku came to our classroom. He is an expert at the stock market. He taught us about the stock market and what to buy and sell. We got better at the stock market. We bought mutual funds and stocks and sold stocks. That brought us closer to being first in the region. Our final score or rank was 6 out of 86 teams in the region. We also got 150,000 out of 2,582 teams in our state. Mr. Marku told us to have more mutual funds than stocks because mutual funds are better. In the future, if I do this, I will do the same process. We bought the stocks Coca-Cola, Fred's, Janus, AT&T, and Under Armour. They were all low. We bought them because they were low. We bought the mutual funds, S&P 500, and then the, the S&S 500, 502. We bought them because they sounded like they would make a lot of money and do really good. Not many of them did much good for us, though. <laughs> we bought the mutual funds because Mr. Mark Hoof said they would help a lot, and they did. A lot. We sold the stocks, Fred's, Janus, AT&T, and Under Armour. And we sold those because they were losing our money. Like, it was just not working at all. The stocks were doing really bad. They were going lower instead of higher like we wanted them to. Once we sold the stocks, our total equity went way up. We didn't sell Coca-Cola because Mr. Marku said it helps if you have at least, like, one or two stocks. It did help a lot, too. Find the results today we're sixth in the region and 150th in the state i honestly think we did really good i hope we did good i hope that's good and then if i ch could have changed something when i was like if i could do this all over again if i could have changed something i probably would have changed what we bought instead of buying all five stocks probably would have bought like one or two but i would have bought coca-cola it's a good stock i wouldn't have bought five stocks like i just said if we bought them because they were low, like the price was low, we would have bought higher prices. We would have bought them not just depending on their prices, but depending on like if it's a good stock too, because it wasn't they weren't that good stocks. Like what if it was just a restaurant? It wasn't that really. It wasn't that good a stock. We would have bought better stocks too, and we would have started with the mutual funds instead of just using stocks. We would have started with mutual funds too. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeff. It's a 1972 of the Stark Market Game Online. The, the companies that we invested in were Disney, Starbucks, Macy's, and Fred's because those are the only ones that you can find. Also, it was the best bullish. And bullish means that a company is able for you to like, invest in and you have enough money to get others. Bearish is when a company doesn't have a lot of things you can invest in. And then we just made transaction. The companies that we sold were Daimler, Costco, and AT&T because those were the only ones taking away money from us sold. So we decided to sell all three of them. Our final results was 12, 12,084 $12, dollars Two dollars. Total value of loans was ninety-one thousand six hundred eighty-six point seventy-five. Total equity was one hundred three seven one hundred three thousand seven hundred seventy-one point forty-seven dollars. The things that I could, the, the things that I would do in the future, is invest in more companies that are bullish, not bearish, because those can save me enough money to pay my bills and other things that I need. Hello viewers, my name is Garrett Beresford, and we entered a statewide stock market game, and we started with $100,000, and we were allowed to invest in anything on the stock market. My team, Brandon Miramrini, 
he first invested in 400 shares of FIT, 600 of FRED, 300 of PARTY, 700 of RAIL, 200 TGT, 3,000 VHC, then sold 400 FIT, 600 FRED, 700 RAIL, bought, bought um, 1,000 SWSSX, sold 200 TGT, 3,000 VHC, 300 PARTY, party bought 1000 swppx bought 250 tgt 400 wfc we ended up up 216th in the state and had 108,076 dollars the reason why we invested the way we did was because it was cheap and bullish if i ever played i would play just the same i had a lot of fun and wish to play again Stocks are kind of like a big hostile territory. What I mean by that is that stocks are constantly changing, so they're always unpredictable. In Team 72's case, we thought that we could outwit the stock market, but ended up in a really bad situation in the stock market game. We lost a lot of money, but we also gained some. That's how the stock market works. You can never predict it. We bought Schwab Small Cap Index Fund. We bought Disney, we bought Fred's and Macy's and Starbucks. We bought these companies because they were the ones that seemed promising and looked looking bullish. Bulls and bears are an acronym for the types of stocks there are in the world. Bullish means that they are the most efficient and they don't take away your money. This scared me. Bearish stocks mean that they might take away your money and they're the least promising. However, we sold socks too. We sold Daimler, Costco, and AT&T. We sold these companies because they seemed the least convincing and, the, and they made us lose a lot of money. My team's final results that were that we came 37th out of 86th in the region and we came 588th place out of 200 2,582 teams in all of Georgia. Our cash balance was $12,084.72. Our value of total equity was $103,771.47. In the future, I would buy Apple and Google stocks. I also aim for buying other bullish stocks, not bearish stocks. Hi, this is Brandon, a member on Team 69. First, we bought 400 shares of Fitbit, 600 shares of Fred, 300 shares of Party City, 700 shares of Rail, 200 shares of Target, and 3,000 shares of VHC. Although, after Mr. Marku, a friend of my teacher came, he told us to sell everything other than Target. After that, we bought two two stocks, 1,000 stocks of SWPPX and 1,000 of SWSSX. After we waited a couple of weeks, our final account summary is that we are 13th place out of 86. We had a total equity of 108,076 and eight cents. What I would do differently is be more smart on stocks. What I mean is I would buy stocks that I know are bullish, low, and have a potential. That's what I would do. On the first day of the stock market game, we bought Fitbit 400 shares, Fred's 600 shares, Party City 300 shares, Fright Car Company 700 shares, Target 200 shares, and many more things. We chose these stocks based on what people were buying in shops, whether they were bullish or not, what price they were, and if they were low or not. Next week, when we checked on how they were doing, we were not happy, and we decided to do some transactions. From then to the results, we sold Fitbit, Fred, Rail, Target, VHC, and Party City. We also bought a few things. Finally, we got 13th place in the region. The only thing I would have done differently is that I would have bought Target earlier. Thank you for listening. We played the stock market game, and in that game, my team bought CarMax. We bought it because, like, they sold um, a lot of car stuff and cars, so it would make money since well, cars and people need cars to move around. 
We bought Petco because it was a low price, but it was a good stock, and everybody like not everybody, but people like having pets. And if they have pets, they'll come and buy stuff for the pets. Sony was an okay price, but it and it was bullish, so that's why we bought it. And um, Sony sells a, a, a lot of stuff. So yeah. AT and T since they sold phones, I think I would think they were they would have made a really good price, and it was not low, but it wasn't high. It was a good stock to invest in. Winnebago, we bought Winnebago because it was really a good rank. Ryan, Liam, SW PPX, we bought it because each stock was only thirty four dollars, and it was a bullish stock. And then we um, bought. SWSS X and this stock when it realized it was twenty seven dollars a share. It was twenty seven dollars one share. So it's good. And um, this was a high but not a little bit. Yeah, people are still recording. Still be quiet. People are still recording. And a lot of toys come out like for every movie. There's like two or three movies every year that come out for Disney. And Chris and Co. Not low, but not high. It was high. In a good. Nike, Nike, they always sell good stuff. They come out with new shoes, new clothes. And it was a low, a low and good stuff. We, we sold Petco. It, it wasn't making enough money for this. And we sold Tony because of the same reason. AT&T wasn't making us any good, just um, in our, in our bag, it was good, but not good. I would like to change that my team would agree more on buying and selling I would have had I would have played to buy more stocks and sell a bit more depending on them. I would have enough like more Apple stocks. My results were 4 out of 86 in the region. My team won in the classroom. My total was my total equity was 109 109,899 15 cents. I was 132 out of 22,582. My team had a chocolate bar for a while. Mr. Marku came and explained to us how stock markets work and how we should invest. Hi, my name is Willie and I am from Team 71. And today I'm going to be answering some questions. What you bought and why? We bought Disney, Grace and Co., Carmax, Nike, and Mrs. Searcy's friend, Mr. Marku, showed us two other stocks, SWPPX and SWSSX. We bought these stocks because they were bullish and they were low. Question number two, what you sold and why? We sold Sony, Winnebago, AT&T, PetMed Express because we thought these stocks were going bad. Question number three, what were our final results? Our final results were fourth in the region, 132nd in the state, and we had 109, we have $109,899. Question number four, what would I do different, what would you do differently uh, in the future? I would sell Sony because it is very high.